Okay guys, so I was experimenting with uh, connecting this coil up to AC and at first I ran the coil uh, through this light bulb uh, I believe it's like 30 watt or something like that um, doesn't say okay so I did that and you could um, you could see the magnets vibrating I'll show you that real quick okay I got this uh, coil running through this bulb um, and the wires on the rodent coil are connected in series and uh, you can see it vibrating so I decided that uh, that that was not good enough and I decided to uh, short out basically this coil with AC directly and uh, basically this magnet flew uh, in, up in the air way over here and landed down here connected to this uh, grinder so um, I'll show you that and then I did it again and it actually split these magnets it separated them and these are really I mean I can't I can't get these apart with one hand. I mean, they are super powerful uh, neodymium magnets. I will show you that. Okay, guys, I got my safety glasses on here. Um, I got you sitting back here on the tripod, and uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I got these uh, uh, two screws here on the end of my leads, and I'm just going to uh, short the two together. So I'm going to plug it in here. Now, uh, if you can't see this very well, I'll try to get a close-up. But hopefully I can rerun this in slow-mo. Um, I'll get these in here. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, so there you go. I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, um, here's half my stack. Landed here. Um... All I know is the other half went flying this way. Uh, I'll look around and show you where I find them at. Well, um, I'm going to have to replay the footage. I can't find them. Um, they disappeared. They went this direction. And they're gone. Okay, guys. So, I spent about 45 minutes looking for these magnets. I finally found them. I played the footage back so I could see the angle of the trajectory. And uh, I'll give you a back here. Uh, move this light. And there they are. So you can see it split them um, right in half. As far as the magnets. The magnet stack. Okay. So now that I found them all, let's go ahead and we'll do that again. Okay, guys. I got you, I got you a little closer. This time, so here we go, separating neodymium magnets via the rodent coil. Three, two, one. All right, it didn't separate them that time. Just flipped them in the air. Let's try it again. Oh! Okay, I hope you got that. Um, half of them are here up to everything and the other half are here so I'm going to put the camera really far away so you can actually see the magnets uh, take off okay guys I got you as far back as I can get you right now you guys are going to like the safety glasses alright here we go separating in three two three out of your way Separating in three, two, one. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, okay. So half of them landed here. And the other half here. So there you go. I thought that was rather interesting. I can actually separate neodymium magnets from each other. It's actually ripping them apart. Uh, I'm going to try it here with a little bit bigger magnets and see what happens. Okay, these are really big hard drive magnets. These are super strong um, magnets.
These will actually go through my hand. Okay, I'm going to try to separate these with this coil. So I'm just going to set them in there. I have no idea what's going to happen. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, not a whole lot. Okay guys, I'm going to take half of that big stack of magnets I had earlier, place them in here, this direction, and uh, see what happens. So here we go. In three, two, one. Alright, just jumped around. Let's try it the other direction. Three, two, one. So you can tell there's a, a, a massive amount of... Uh, magnetism going on there but uh, I just find this rather amusing I'm going to do it one more time for you I'm going to get really close so that you can see just the magnets okay here we go three two one they didn't split let's try it again three two Oh, dang. So, half of them landed here, and the other half jumped up here and snatched a, uh, check it out, snatched a piece of metal right off my wall here. Okay, here's what I'm going to do now. With absolutely nothing in the coil, I'm going to short AC directly through it uh, for short periods of time and watch what happens with the coil okay I don't know if you can see that let me get you a little closer okay I got you guys a little closer what I want you to watch is the uh, inner part here um, it actually fluctuates in and out with the the AC here you go. Hopefully I can slow this down you guys can actually see it. Let me get a little closer. Here we go. Ooh, it gets hot quick. Uh, I'm pulling well over 20 amps. That I do know. So anyway, well, once again, just another experiment I was doing with AC, seeing what could happen. Um, I know Jamie, um, with his first rodent coil, tried, uh, I believe it was rectifying, uh, AC through a bulb, if I'm not mistaken, and he got the, uh, the monopole effect. Um, I will try that, I'm going to find out exactly how he did that, and I'm going to try that with this coil, and we'll go from there. Alright, once again, if you guys got any more ideas, shoot them at me. Okay guys, I was reviewing the, uh, videos I just took of the uh, splitting of this uh, stack of magnets and I believe what is happening is that it's trying to rotate in this direction and it's so powerful that it actually rotates and in, in the, the centrifugal force pulls the magnets apart so this is trying to spin that fast um, hopefully if I get some sort of a neosphere sometime soon I hope uh, you know, maybe maybe I can get that to just sit here and spin on standard AC. Um, but we'll give it a shot. But because uh, sometimes this magnet would just fly through the air and land, um, and it was still together. So, like I said, after reviewing the footage, it looks like it's actually spinning so fast it pulls itself apart. So uh, more tests later. Thank you.